So it's a bit messed up that I even have to do a preface to a video like this, but unfortunately a lot of people still get their jimmies rustled by the idea of someone talking about something in relation to how it affects men rather than women, so I'm gonna have to do one. Before anybody starts complaining that I'm only talking about male suicide rates and not female suicide rates and asking me why I'm being so biased against women, try looking up anything in relation to suicide rates and men and you are going to find a plethora of people talking about how it affects women, not giving the statistics without trying to twist it to make it seem like women have it worse, despite men basically killing themselves more often than women do. You will find articles of opinion pieces talking about how this is an issue but we need to focus on other things, as in we need to focus on the bigger picture people, we need to fix the patriarchy first, but I do have to just say that when you Google anything in relation to how something, whether it be education, cancer, the workforce, anything, how it affects men, you will not find that much. Even for this video, researching statistics, opinion pieces, anything to do with this topic, it was difficult to do. When you just Google female suicide rates or suicide rates in general though, you get a plethora of stuff in relation to women. And I found it very difficult to even find anything for this video. So that's why I'm talking about it in relation to men and not women. If you don't like that and you don't really want to watch a video just focusing on men for any reason, you can leave right now. Nobody's stopping you. But with that out of the way, let's just get into the video. So hi guys, it's Miss Misa here. Today is not going to be a fun video. It's not going to be energetic. I'm not going to be making jokes or anything through this video. It's going to be very serious so I do apologize for that but this is a very serious topic. So before I get into this I did a charity live stream a few days ago trying to raise money for an organization called The Calm Zone. Now The Calm Zone are a male only mental health charity organization that essentially allow men to go to them to talk out their problems, to get advice, to basically just be able to speak about their emotions as an attempt to lower the male suicide rates and I think this organization is great. It's helped out people that I know and they're doing very good work so I wanted to raise some money for them. I set up a GoFundMe for it and I have already surpassed the goal that I put there but I'm going to be leaving the GoFundMe open for the next few days until Friday. If any of you want to donate to it, it would be just fucking amazing, even if you can just spare like one dollar for them. It goes to a very good cause and you'll be helping a sister out if you did that. The issue is really important to me and I want as many men to get help as possible. I have many men in my life who are dealing with stuff and they feel like they can't talk to anybody and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys do too, so this organisation is great, just anything you can, just spare anything you can. I'll be leaving the GoFundMe link in the description, the link to the stream that I did and a link to the Calm Zoned website, so go check those out if you can. But now on to the actual video and the actual fact statistics and maybe even a conclusion as to why this is a topic that isn't discussed. I'm going to be focusing on the UK in this video just because that's where I'm from and the statistics in America, Canada and Australia are all very similar in regards to this. So the statistics that I'm going to be divulging now, they're pretty much the same as in all those countries, so that's why. So the biggest killer of men under 45 in the UK is suicide. Out of all of the suicide deaths that occur in the UK, 75% of them are suffered by men. However, despite this, in 2015, males ages 45 to 59 had the highest rate of suicidal deaths overall in the UK. Now, these are not statistics that not that many people know about. If you study any kind of humanity-based subject where you have to talk about stuff relating to suicide or psychological damage of any kind, you will know these statistics. I studied sociology and psychology for two years when I was doing my A-levels and they taught us this very early on, so I've known about these statistics for a long time. So you're probably wondering, why is it that I feel like this isn't talked about in mainstream media or in general when it comes to talking about issues relating to men? Well, the reason why this is is that people know the statistics, but people don't seem to care about the statistics. And the thing that I find very ironic about this is that people not caring about the statistics kind of contributes to the problem growing and getting bigger over time. 
the male suicide rates have been increasing dramatically, but steadily, from the 1950s onwards. Now, in between 2007 and 2013, male suicide rates skyrocketed for a while. Women are starting to commit suicide a lot more as well recently, in recent years especially, but men are still dominating this, and that is not a good thing. Now, obviously, I don't want anyone to have to commit suicide. It's not something that anyone would wish upon anybody, but the fact that it dominates men in regards to how many men die from it is very concerning. But what's even more concerning is the fact that not many people are actually doing anything to help solve this problem. And I think the reason why people are doing that is because they don't understand why it happens. They don't understand the reasoning behind it. There's also the factor of people don't care. And I wanna explore both of these things in this video. So why is it that men are committing suicide more and why is it that they're not getting help in regards to the issues that they're facing, whatever they may be, as to why they are committing suicide? Well, one reason that I believe is a cause as to why men are not getting help for their issues in regards to them being suicidal is that women are taking precedent in this field. Women are three times more likely to have common health problems, whether that be mental health or emotional health, and they are also a lot more likely to attempt to commit suicide. But obviously, men are more likely to actually succeed and do it. Now, the reason why I think these statistics exist, especially the one in regards to emotional health, is that women are more likely to come forward with their issues than men are. Men are not likely to go and try and get help for their emotional issues, and emotional issues are a big factor as to why a lot of people commit suicide. I personally believe, based on my own observations, that men are taught not to emote, they're not taught not to express their emotions when it comes to things that are upsetting, and I've seen this in my real life too. There are men that I know that have had tragedies happen in their families or within their friendship groups, and they are the ones who have to keep their shit together, and not get emotional and make sure that everyone else in the family is okay. I don't think we should be teaching people to go blubbering all over the place, but I do think it's important for men to be able to cry if they need to, to cry if something terrible happens, if they feel like there's something building up in them and they need to express their emotions. I think that is an important thing for men to be able to do. But in society, women are taught that they're allowed to express their emotions and be emotional and even be hysteric at some points. Feminists are trying to remove the stigma of the word hysteric at the moment. They're trying to say that men labelled women as being hysteric when they wanted to silence them a lot of the time, but being hysteric is not a good thing. Being emotional when something emotional happens can be a good thing because it can help you release emotions. But my main point here is that women are able to get help a lot quicker and a lot easier than men are. A lot of men that I know don't go to their doctors to talk about their issues. They don't even talk to people around them when they're emotional or upset or anything. Now, another reason why the statistics are a lot higher for men is because men tend to use a lot more effective methods of killing themselves. For example, shooting themselves, hanging themselves, cutting themselves, that kind of stuff. But women are more likely to use methods like overdosing, which is something that can not work. If you shoot yourself in the head from the right angle, you will die. If you cut your arm this way, you will most likely die. If you hang yourself, you will most likely die. If you overdose, you could not take the right amount of pills, you could not take the right kind of pills, you could easily be saved from that. It, it's not something that will definitely kill you. And trust me, I know this stuff personally. This topic is something that is very, very personal to me, and I know firsthand women tend to use less effective methods of committing suicide. People tend to put this down to men being more impulsive than women, so if they want to die, they are going to do it right there and then. But I personally think the reason is that women tend to get over emotional about certain things, so they will go for the quickest and easiest method that they can, which usually is overdosing on pills or drinking bleach or something that involves a household item. Now, I don't want to bring politics into this, but I also think that another reason why the statistics are a lot higher for men is because men are facing a lot of issues recently because of feminism. Men are losing their kids more. Men are having to pay alimony a lot more. Men are pretty much being fucked over by society a lot more recently, and this might be a factor. 
The amount of people I had when I was doing my charity stream say that they knew someone who killed themselves because they had lost their kids was heart-wrenching and disgusting. But it's something that happens. Now, I'm not blaming women or feminists for these specific cases, but this has accentuated because of women and feminism. Now, there's a very weird and messed up response to these statistics and to these facts, and I feel like I need to address them. When I was doing my charity stream, I had quite a few people in the chat act as though male suicide is not a big deal, pretty much saying, fuck that, that's not an issue. This is the attitude a lot of people in society have to this issue, and it is grotesque and disgusting and vile that people will disregard something like this. When it comes to things like the wage gap or the pink tax, people will lose their mind, but when it comes to people actually dying, just because they're men, for some reason it doesn't matter. Now, suicide has always had a stigma attached to it. It's seen as cowardly to do, and people act as though you're committing fucking treason when uh, you admit to them that you're suicidal. People act as though suicide is something to be ashamed of, and I think it is something to be ashamed of to a degree, but just having that attitude is not going to help somebody who is suicidal. Now, the thing about suicide is that it's something that is quite delicate and you can't just fix it with a pill or by talking about your issues a lot of the time. You do need something more than that. And I feel like men don't reach out for that kind of help. There are people of different walks of life who commit suicide. There are people who use laughter as a way to cope with their emotions who are suicidal. There are people who are clearly severely depressed and emote that very blatantly who want to commit suicide. There are people who emote being ridiculously happy and who are joyful who commit suicide. I think the death of Robin Williams really showed that for a lot of us and it was very disheartening to see, but that can happen. You can be really happy and show uh, real signs of being joyful, but inside you could be hurting. And I think men suffer that a lot more than women do. The thing is, there are reasons why people commit suicide, whether they be men or women, and people seem to think that people who commit suicide are either cowardly or they just have a lot of mental issues. So they dismiss it as, well, this person wasn't normal or this person was cowardly, therefore it doesn't really matter. Reasons for suicide can vary from mental health issues, relationship breakdowns, losing your children, socioeconomic reasons. There can be many reasons for people wanting to commit suicide, but it's not the answer. Now this part of the video, I am talking about men and women and talking to men and women. If you feel like that, you need to get help. I'll be leaving suicidal hotlines and Samaritan hotlines in the description and probably in the comment section. If you ever feel like that, talk to somebody. It can help quite a lot actually. Whether it's just about getting your emotions out or getting advice on certain things, it can help. No one should ever have to feel that low that they would do something as dramatic as taking their own life. This is something that affects men more than women and I am asking for any guys who watch my content, if you ever feel like that, talk to somebody. I know it's not easy, I don't like talking about my issues to people in my life, it's why I do it to a fucking camera. But even when I do it to a camera, it helps. It makes me feel so much better. But guys, that's pretty much the video. I didn't really want to make it too long, I probably did, but it's just me, I guess. I ramble a lot. But thank you guys for taking the time out to watch this video, and I really would appreciate it if you could at least check out the Calm Zone website and try and promote any kind of men's mental health organisation that you can find, because it doesn't have to be the Calm Zone, it can be anyone. This is a topic that needs more attention and more discussion, and I feel like society is trying to hold back from talking about it because of the fact that it's about men, but it needs to be discussed. Thank you to everybody for watching. Um, and I will see you in the next video of whatever the fuck I decide to make next. Hopefully the next one will be a lot more positive and happy. Here's hoping. So, see you in the next one guys. Peace out. Bye.